योर एक्सलेंसीज राष्ट्रपति पुतिन राष्ट्रपति शी राष्ट्रपति रामाफोसा राष्ट्रपति बोल्सोनारो नमस्कार ब्रिक्स शिखर वार्ता में आप सभी का बहुत स्वागत है ब्रिक्स की पंद्रहवीं वर्षगांठ पर इस समिट की अध्यक्षता करना मेरे लिए और भारत के लिए खुशी की बात है आज की इस बैठक के लिए हमारे पास विस्तृत एजेंडा है बैठक का एजेंडा आप सभी के पास भी है यदि आप सभी की सहमति हो तो हम इस एजेंडा को अपना सकते हैं एजेंडा को स्वीकार किया जाता है एक्सलेंसीज एजेंडा के पारित होने के बाद हम सभी संक्षिप्त में अपने ओपनिंग रिमार्क्स दे सकते हैं पहले मैं अपने ओपनिंग रिमार्क दूंगा और फिर बारी बारी से आप सभी महानुभावों को आमंत्रित करूंगा एक्सलेंसीज भारत की अध्यक्षता के दौरान हमें सभी ब्रिक्स पार्टनर्स में और सभी से भरपूर सहयोग मिला है और इसके लिए मैं आप सभी का बहुत बहुत आभारी हूं पिछले डेढ़ दशक में ब्रिक्स ने कई उपलब्धियां हासिल की हैं आज हम विश्व की उभरती अर्थव्यवस्थाओं के लिए एक प्रभावकारी आवाज है विकासशील देशों की प्राथमिकताओं पर ध्यान केंद्रित करने के लिए भी यह मंच उपयोगी हो रहा है ब्रिक्स ने न्यू डेवलपमेंट बैंक कंटीजेंसी रिजर्व अरेंजमेंट और एनर्जी रिसर्च कोऑपरेशन प्लेटफॉर्म जैसी मजबूत संस्थाओं का सृजन किया है निसंदेह गर्व के लिए गर्व करने के लिए हमारे पास बहुत कुछ है मगर यह भी महत्वपूर्ण है कि हम आत्मसंतुष्ट न हो और हमें यह सुनिश्चित करना है कि ब्रिक्स अगले पंद्रह वर्षों में और परिणामदायी हो भारत ने अपनी अध्यक्षता के लिए जो थीम चुना है वह यही प्राथमिकता दर्शाता है ब्रिक्स एट फिफ्टीन इंट्रा ब्रिक्स कोऑपरेशन फॉर कंटिन्यूटी कंसोलिडेशन एंड कंसेंसस ये चार सी एक प्रकार से हमारी ब्रिक्स भागीदारी के मूल सिद्धांत है इस वर्ष कोविड की व्यवस्थाओं के बावजूद 150 से अधिक ब्रिक्स बैठकें और कार्यक्रम आयोजित किए गए जिनमें से 20 से अधिक मंत्री स्तर पर थे परंपरागत क्षेत्रों में सहयोग बढ़ाने के साथ हमने ब्रिक्स एजेंडा का विस्तार करने का भी प्रयत्न किया इस संदर्भ में इस साल ब्रिक्स ने कई फर्स्ट हासिल किए यानी कई चीजें पहली बार हुई हाल ही में पहले ब्रिक्स डिजिटल हेल्थ सम्मेलन का आयोजन हुआ टेक्नोलॉजी की मदद से हेल्थ एक्सेस बढ़ाने के लिए ये एक इनोवेटिव कदम है नवंबर में हमारे जल संसाधन मंत्री ब्रिक्स फॉर्मेट में पहली बार मिलेंगे यह भी पहली बार हुआ कि ब्रिक्स ने 
मल्टीलेटरल सिस्टम की मजबूती और सुधार इस पर एक साझा पोजीशन ली हमने ब्रिज काउंटर टेररिज्म एक्शन प्लान भी एडोप्ट किया है हमारी अंतरिक्ष एजेंसियों के बीच रिमोट सेंसिंग सैटेलाइट कॉन्स्टेलेशन समझौते से सहयोग का एक नया अध्याय शुरू हो रहा है हमारे कस्टम्स विभागों के बीच सहयोग से इंट्रा ब्रिक्स व्यापार आसान होगा एक वर्चुअल नेटवर्क के रूप में ब्रिक्स वैक्सीनेशन अनुसंधान और विकास केंद्र शुरू करने पर भी सहमति बनी है ब्रिक्स अलायंस ऑन ग्रीन टूरिज्म एक और नई पहल है एक्सेलेंसी इन सभी नए इनिशिएटिव्स ने न सिर्फ हमारे नागरिकों को लाभ मिलेगा हमारा ब्रिक्स संगठन भी आने वाले सनों में प्रासंगिक रहेगा मुझे विश्वास है कि आज की बैठक ब्रिक्स को भविष्य में और उपयोगी बनाने के लिए उपयुक्त दिशा देगी हम महत्वपूर्ण वैश्विक तथा क्षेत्रीय मुद्दों पर भी चर्चा करेंगे अब मैं आप सब से अपने ओपनिंग रिमार्क्स साझा करने का अनुरोध करता हूं सबसे पहले मैं राष्ट्रपति शी को आमंत्रित करता हूं Your Excellency Prime Minister Modi Your Excellency President Ramaphosa Your Excellency President Bolsonaro Your Excellency President Putin It's my great pleasure to meet you in virtual format and discuss BRICS cooperation Prime Minister Modi I want to thank you and the Indian government for the thoughtful arrangements this year marks the 15th anniversary of BRICS cooperation over the past 15 years our five countries have enhanced strategic communication and political trust in the spirit of openness inclusiveness and equality respected each other's social system and development path and explored a sound way for countries to interact with each other our five countries have sought synergy between our development policies and drawn on our complementarities we have made solid progress in various areas of cooperation in the spirit of pragmatism innovation and win-win cooperation and we have forged ahead on our common journey of development our five countries have supported multilateralism and taken part in global governance in the spirit of equity justice and mutual assistance and we have become an important force on the international stage to be reckoned with since the beginning of this year our five countries overcoming the impact of covid have maintained the momentum of BRICS cooperation and secured new progress in many areas. What has happened shows that as long as we pull our mind and our effort, then we can make smooth, solid and sustained progress in BRICS cooperation, come what may. I look forward to in-depth exchanges with you my colleagues and jointly set the direction for the future of BRICS next year China will take over as the chairman of BRICS and we will host the 14th BRICS summit we look forward to working with our BRICS partners to deepen all areas of our cooperation and build a closer
a more results-oriented partnership to meet our common challenges and create a better future. Thank you. धन्यवाद राष्ट्रपति शी अब मैं राष्ट्रपति रोमा रामाफोसा को ओपनिंग रिमार्क्स के लिए आमंत्रित करता हूं योर एक्सलेंसी प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी योर एक्सलेंसी प्रेसिडेंट शी योर एक्सलेंसी प्रेसिडेंट बोलसनारो Your Excellency President Putin and ladies and gentlemen I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you Prime Minister Modi and India for convening this virtual 13th BRICS summit We are indeed meeting in unprecedented times The COVID-19 pandemic has had a devastating impact human life livelihoods of our people economies of our countries and communities around the world as much as we have known sorrow and hardship we have also known solidarity and cooperation especially amongst our five countries our collective response has demonstrated what can be achieved when we work together all tracks of our brics cooperation have been oriented towards concrete responses to the pandemic as the brics countries we must continue to safeguard our people's lives and livelihoods we must continue to support global economic recovery and enhance the resilience of all our public systems we must also ensure equal access to covid-19 vaccines the diagnostics as well as therapeutics because that is the only way in which we can collectively respond to this pandemic that engulfs the world we each need to contribute our fair share to the access covid-19 tools accelerator and also support the proposal made by india and south africa at the wto or a waiver of the trips mechanism to ensure a rapid expansion of covid-19 vaccines production across the world we welcome the decision of our ministers of health to operationalize a virtual brics vaccine research and development center the pandemic has reinforced our belief that representative multilateralism is the key to a sustainable future for all we therefore also welcome the joint statement on strengthening and reforming the multilateral system issued by our foreign ministers in june and we call on brics to be equally bold and determined in seeking reform of the united nations security council among other things to enable africa to take its rightful place among the collective nations of the world in this crucial body we are now in the final decade towards meeting the sustainable development goals we must remain focused on the attainment of better health outcomes while also pursuing the goals of quality education decent work climate action and peace and justice lastly we must strengthen our cooperation deepen our partnership and our friendship 
and actively strive towards a world of better health, better opportunity and shared prosperity for all. I thank you. धन्यवाद राष्ट्रपति रामाफोसा जी मैं राष्ट्रपति बोल्सोनारो को उनके ओपनिंग रिमार्क्स के लिए आमंत्रित करना चाहूंगा मिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया मिस्टर शी जिंगपिंग द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द पीपल्स रिपब्लिक ऑफ चाइना Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa, the President of South Africa, and Mr. Vladimir Putin, the President of the Russian Federation, ladies and gentlemen, it is for me an honor to again meet with the leaders of the BRICS summit in my third summit of this group in my capacity as President of Brazil. I would like to thank the Indian Rotating Presidency for the excellent efforts undertaken in 2021 and for organizing this summit meeting. Unfortunately, it has not been possible for us to meet in person this year again to address the matters of our ongoing cooperation. It is a pity that we are not able to jointly experience the warm welcome of Prime Minister Modi, which I was able to enjoy firsthand when I visited India in January 2020, a visit which to date positively reverberates in our bilateral relations. The Brazil India strategic partnership currently goes through an excellent point in time. Several different agreements signed during that trip are yielding fruits today and our cooperation has made progress especially in the fields of science and technology, energy and healthcare and above all in efforts to fight the COVID-19 pandemic. Bilateral trade has also expanded and it is yet another sign of the recovery of our economies and the potential of our relations i also regret that i have not had the chance to meet in person with the other leaders of the brics countries to address relevant matters of our cooperation as a group of countries but also to make progress in bilateral matters as we were able to do in brasilia in 2019 when brazil held the rotating presidency that was for example the last occasion on which i met in person with president xi jinping on that occasion we addressed matters of the global strategic partnership between our two countries as well as the healthy state of our bilateral relations in several areas more particularly on the trade and investments arena this partnership with china has proved key for a proper management of the pandemic in Brazil considering that a substantial share of the vaccines offered to the Brazilian population is produced with inputs originating from China we have also had a strategic partnership with South Africa for more than one decade and together we have helped develop our own cooperation efforts and dynamics to further strengthen our BRICS group our human ties and our similarities make for a fluent and very much natural dialogue between Brazil and South Africa on areas such as defense science and technology the environment trade and investments among other fields of interest which is reflected in our mutual standing within BRICS with Russia we have also fostered and developed broad ranging comprehensive bilateral relations which just like our other ties with other BRICS countries have established a strategic partnership beyond the excellent political relations and beyond the importance of our cooperation in science and technology and also beyond our trade exchanges which we know currently focus on agribusiness beyond that we are interested in diversifying our exports with Russia in keeping with the ultimate development of our both economies and to the ultimate benefit of our two nations i do hope that we will soon have the opportunity to again meet in person to address these and so many other matters of special relevance for our bilateral and multilateral agendas in the meantime 
May we make the most of our by now vast experience in virtual meetings to hold yet another summit meeting of BRICS leaders. I am quite certain that just as was the case in 2020, the constraints of a virtual meeting shall not prevent us from engaging in a fruitful dialogue and have a successful 13th summit meeting of this group. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Dhanivad. राष्ट्रपति बोल्सोनारो अब मैं राष्ट्रपति पुतिन से उनके ओपनिंग रिमार्क्स का अनुरोध करना चाहूंगा थैंक यू वेरी मच डिस्टिंग्विश प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी डिस्टिंग्विश प्रेसिडेंट शी जिनपिंग डिस्टिंग्विश प्रेसिडेंट ट्रामाफोजा Distinguished President Bolsonaro, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to join the colleagues who have spoken before me and thank Prime Minister Modi and all our Indian friends for the intensive work that India has been doing as the BRICS chair this year. Despite unusual conditions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, the India's presidency has done its utmost to ensure a progressive and smooth development of the strategic partnership of the BRICS member states in all the key areas. Uh, and uh, I agree with the colleagues, uh, our association's cloud is indeed getting higher and its role is uh, um, quite prominent. It's, it logically stems from the fact that over the 15 years uh, of joint efforts, the BRICS member states have managed to establish effective cooperation on the whole range of pressing issues on the global and regional agenda. Such close BRICS member states partnership is in demand since the situation across the world remains quite turbulent. Everyone is aware of risks caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, which the colleagues have mentioned. Uh, and uh, this threat has affected almost all spheres of our life, uh, having slowed down the global economic development and aggravated many social issues. Moreover, the situation around the globe is not becoming less tense. The global security has faced serious challenges, uh, and the system of strategic stability has gone all downhill. Outstanding regional conflicts haven't stopped. On the contrary, they have erupted again, becoming more violent. U.S. and its allies' withdrawal from Afghanistan has led to a new crisis, and uh, it's still unclear how this will affect regional and global security. That's why it is for good reason that our countries have paid special attention to this issue. Evidently, Russia, just like its BRIC partners, has consistently spoken for establishing a long-awaited peace and stability on the Afghan soil. The citizens of this country have fought for decades and deserve to exercise the right of defining what their state will look like on their own. Meanwhile, we are all interested in Afghanistan's uh, uh, ceasing to be a threat to the neighbors so that the Afghan territory uh, would uh, be a source of uh, drug trafficking and terrorism. We are interested in stopping migration flows. We are for Afghans uh, living in peace and dignity on their soil. I have said on numerous occasions that a new spiral of crisis in Afghanistan stems directly from irresponsible attempts to impose alien values from the outside and intention to build a so-called democracies, democratic structures uh, using the patterns and methods of social and political engineering without taking into account either historic features and disregarding um, the traditions that other peoples, people have followed. It results in destabilization and uh, chaos. And after that, the authors of these experiments uh, back down, leaving those they have paternalized to their own devices. And uh, the entire international community will have to clear up the mess as a result. I'm confident that we can ensure progressive development of the international relations only through guaranteeing the coexistence of states with different political and social systems 
their own national interests and spiritual and moral values. However, we must strictly observe the fundamental principles of international law enshrined in the UN Charter, including non-interference into the internal affairs and respect for sovereignty. It is also important to support and develop internationally the interaction based on mutual respect and constructive and effective approach to strengthen the emerging multipolar system, including independent centers of economic growth and political influence, which the BRICS is definitely a part of. And in this context, we believe that the topic of today's meeting and the year 2021 chosen by India is very relevant, which is intra-BRICS cooperation for continuity, consolidation and consensus. In fact, this is the goal that the whole international community has to reach, and the BRICS member states have played a leading role, a prominent role in this. I hope that our today's work will be substantive and fruitful, and I would like once again to stress that Russia is ready to continue to closely interact with all the BRICS member states in all the areas. Thank you. धन्यवाद राष्ट्रपति पुतिन एक्सलेंसीज हम सभी वर्चुअल रूप में मिल रहे हैं लेकिन हमारी टीम चाहती हैं कि डिजिटल माध्यम से ही सही एक ग्रुप फोटो अवश्य होना चाहिए इस ग्रुप फोटो के लिए हम अपने अपने स्थान पर ही रहेंगे मैं मीडिया टीम से आग्रह करूंगा कि डिजिटल ग्रुप फोटो ले ले धन्यवाद एक्सलेंसी